Village Broadcasting, your source of programming, highlighting active lifestyles in our beautiful surroundings. Welcome to The Rec Wrap. I'm your host today, Larissa Lonsdale. Today, I'm here with Lee Brockman to find out what's new in the tennis world here in the village. Lee, thank you for being here with me today. Can you tell the viewers a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. First of all, it's great being here with you this morning, Larissa. Uh, I grew up in Charleston, South Carolina, uh, where I met my lovely wife, Barbara. We uh, resided there for over 50 years. We have uh, three grown children. They're all in their mid-30s. Uh, we moved here to Teleco Village this past summer in July of 2019. So technically, we are new villagers and love it here. Uh, on the professional front, uh, I've been teaching tennis for 40 years. I guess most notably, I was the director of tennis, aquatics, and safety at the Country Club of Charleston for 33 years. Uh, I currently teach tennis here in Teleco at the Wellness Center as well as Chota Rec Center. And I'm also the volunteer coach for the boys and girls teams over at Loudoun High School. Great. Now, Larissa, can you tell me a little bit about the state of tennis here in the villages now? In the village right now, we have approximately 180 active men and women playing tennis in the village. Now, where are the courts located and what type of courts are available for play? Well, we have four hard courts located at the Chota Rec Center and four hard true courts at the Wellness Center and two courts at Kahiti. Now, what are hard true courts, Larissa? Hard True Quartz is a unique crushed stone product, often referred to as clay, that offers many benefits to senior tennis players, including consistently slower ball bounce than other surfaces, mm -hmm. resulting in longer rallies, a greater variety of strokes, and a more controlled game. They also have less impact on the joints, protect particularly the knees. Mm -hmm. They're also 10 to 15 degrees cooler in play and, than the hard courts, and they do dry quicker in rain. The hard true courts are closed at times in the winter when the temperatures do get below freezing, while the hard courts are open year round. Now Larissa, say I just moved here to the villages, which is the case with me, and I don't know anyone, I just want to play some tennis and I want to meet some new players. What do you suggest? The best way to do that is to come to open play. Open play um, is where it's open for everybody, anybody who plays tennis. Mm -hmm. um, the women play on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, and the men play on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays. There's also mixed men's and women's rusty racket play on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. These groups are all open to tennis players. Um, we do plan on opening up an extra men's group um, in the future. The club is working on that. Where were you? Be sure to pick up a tennis schedule at the Wellness Center or the Chow Direct Center. The schedule shows when all the open play times are scheduled, where they're played at, and the main contacts for each group in case you have questions. It also shows when private groups have scheduled times. Now, can I book private court time? You can. Um, any tennis player can call the Wellness Center or the Chota Rec Center to reserve a, a court up to two weeks in advance. If you want to set up a private ongoing time, please contact myself at the Chota Rec Center. Now, what does it cost to play tennis here in the village? Most tennis players do purchase a recreation membership. You can purchase a family or an individual membership, which includes being able to participate in all of our activities at the recreation department, including our indoor-outdoor pools, our fitness classes, our exercise rooms, and all of our other activities, including badminton and pickleball. For those of you who just want to play tennis, you can just get a daily pass that are available at, for purchase at the recreation front desks. You will need to stop in at the front desk each day that you play to sign in. For more information, please stop by at the Wellness Center or the Chota front desk. So Lee, as an active member of the Village Tennis community, I have a couple questions for you. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the current tennis organization in the Village. Sure. Larissa, currently we have two tennis organizations that are based here out of Teleco Village and they support a wide array of initiatives in the tennis community. Uh, you have the Teleco Village Tennis Club, also known as the TVTC. That was founded in August of 2019. Mm -hmm. It currently has about 180 active men's and women's players. 
Then you also have the Teleco Lake Tennis Association, known as the TLTA. That's another tennis club with approximately 60 members. Uh, many of those are residents here of Teleco Village, although that membership does include residents of Rarity Bay and Wind River. Uh, and there are nominal membership fees that are charged on an annual basis by each of those organizations. And what do the organizations offer? Well, both organizations offer a wide variety of tennis clinics conducted by professional instructors, as well as socials throughout the year. They also sponsor outings, such as the upcoming match uh, between the University of Tennessee men's team and Vanderbilt. Uh, that's going to be held on Friday, March 27th. Uh, we're taking a big group up there from Teleco to see that match. Uh, they're holding essentially what's a tennis festival that day. There's going to be free tennis clinics for kids 12 and under, free food, free giveaway of, of Tennessee memorabilia. Uh, and there's also a group that's being organized to go up to Cincinnati in late summer to see the Western Open, which is an amazing pro event and really one of the major stops on the professional tour. Now, many players belong to both organizations, uh, and there are certainly differences, though, between the organizations and the way they are structured. Uh, the TVTC, the tennis club here, was created to bring a sense of organization and advocacy to the tennis community in Teleco Village. It coordinates the open play schedules, it sponsors the clinics and socials, and most importantly, it represents a voice of the tennis community to the Rec Advisory Committee and the POA making sure that the needs and the wants of the tennis players are heard. Now, two of our most recent accomplishments were acquiring shade umbrellas for the courts, which are really great for the summertime, and also sponsoring a CPR AED class. Now, the TLTA, the Teleco Lake Tennis Association, they also sponsor clinics and socials, but they're certainly different in a number of aspects. First, they have the non-resident members, Another difference is they are very much competition-based. They sponsor mixed doubles leagues throughout the year. They have a spring, a summer, as well as a fall season, and that's for 3.0 plus level players to participate. Um, although there are non-residents as part of that league play, all the matches are played here in Teleco Village on Tuesday and Thursday evenings. And the TLTA also hosts two tournaments each year, which brings out the competitive spirit of the players. Wow, there's a lot of tennis here. Um, and how do you join TVTC or TLTA? Well, you can stop by the Chota Rec Center to pick up a brochure about joining. Also, the TVTC now has their club information posted on the Teleco Life website. Simply log on, scroll down to Village Clubs, and click on TVTC. And is a membership required for either TVTC or TLTA to play tennis? Not for TVTC. You do need to be a rec department member or take out a daily pass for you to get access to the courts. Now for the TLTA, a membership is required for you to play in the mixed doubles leagues. Non-rec members are required to pay the guest fee if you're not playing during league practices or matches. And how do you plan to grow tennis in the village? Glad you asked. Uh, we're often asked uh, about how we're going about growing the game here. And many times when we go out and ask folks about, do you want to become involved in the game, the common response we hear from people is, I just never learned how to play. I always wanted to, didn't have time, or I played when I was young, I haven't played in years, I'm really rusty. And in order to address those challenges, we uh, formulated a program called the Rusty Rackets in spring of 2019. And I have heard of Rusty Rackets. What is it? Well, Rusty Rackets is a free tennis program. It's open to anyone interested in learning the game or just brushing up on their skills. The emphasis is certainly on cooperative fun and exercise, so don't worry about your current skill level. Uh, we're fortunate to have two uh, tennis professionals here in Teleco Village, Mark Williams and myself. We both have 40 years of experience teaching the game. And in the Rusty Rackets program, we're going to cover all the basic tennis skills, which include your ground strokes, serves, volleys, overheads, also scoring and rules. Uh, and if you don't have a racket, we have equipment that we can loan out. That's not a problem. Uh, we also have modified equipment, so if you're a raw beginner, we can give you an easy, user-friendly pathway to get acclimated to the game in a very non-threatening way, I should say. Uh, and in the spring of 2020, the Rusty Racket sessions will take place on March 24th and 26th, and also April 8th and 10th. 
and they'll run from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Chota Rec Center. You can sign up at either the monthly New Villagers Socials, which is held at the Yacht Club the first Thursday of the month, or at the Rec Center's front desk. After the Rusty Racket training sessions are over, we're going to invite anyone and everyone to drop by our open play dates which will take place from noon till 2 o'clock on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at the Chota Rec Center. Great. So besides Rusty Rackets, are tennis lessons available? Yes, they are. Uh, I do teach private, semi-private, as well as small group lessons, team practices. Uh, I do hitting and playing lessons, as well as charting of uh, competitive matches. All of those are done on appointment uh, basis. I also offer 24-hour restringing and regripping service. Uh, where we also feature a pickup and drop-off service to make it more convenient for you. And are there other options available to improve my game? Absolutely. The Rec Department POA just recently purchased a brand new state-of-the-art programmable ball machine and it can be checked out for use at Chota Rec Center. There's no cost to use the machine beyond your regular Rec membership and I personally am available to come out and help you set it up, give you an orientation on the usage of that machine, and that's absolutely free of charge. Well, Lee, thank you so much for being here today. It sounds like tennis have, has exciting new things coming up. Thank you so much for being here today, and thank you for tuning in to the Rec Wrap, a Teleco Village Broadcasting production. Mm -hmm.